It's better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. I don't know how many people get this. The idea about go to school so you can get a good 9 to 5 job, work all the way up the corporate ladder, spend the rest of your life only to look forward to retirement. You'll be old and low in energy, not fit enough to travel the world. By then, you're half dead with one foot in the grave, a senior citizen ready to go to heaven. When many people are on their deathbed, the most common thing people tell us is they have not truly lived their lives. They regret the things they didn't do. Western society's system is built to create nine to five slaves and blind them from the truth. The truth is, there are unlimited ways to live your life that best fits the individual's purpose. Instead of being told what to do and asking for permission to do anything with your life. There is no such thing as you are set for life, the way society likes you to imagine. It's all bullshit. Security is an illusion. Things are constantly changing from day to day. Part of the reason I left the 9 to 5 plus career was because I started to ask myself what I was doing this for. Was I doing it for me? Really? Or was I doing this for others and what society expected me to be? I woke up at 5 a.m. the next day after having those thoughts and quit a career that I had built up for 10 years with a six-figure income without a plan whatsoever. In hindsight, it was stupid to do it in such a way, but it did take a lot of balls. I knew that deep down, this is not what I wanted to be doing with my life, and I was deeply unhappy. Money wasn't going to blind me to my truth that this job was a substitute for the real power I wanted to have and real control over my life. Real power is the degree to which a person has control over their own circumstances. Real power is the degree to which we control the directions of our lives. I thought more money was the answer. In many cases it can be, but how I earned it and how much I truly needed had to be examined. Shortly after I quit the job, I quit the single mother, I quit her kid, I quit the city I lived in and hated, and hated moving to because of this career I also hated, but couldn't quite figure out why I had to be on drugs and drinking to keep it and me going. Did I go through some hard times as a result? Sure I did. More drug usage, bad people that tried to kill me, homelessness and alcoholism deep depression that I had to fight off and more people with addictions that I had to finally get away from. It has taken me two years to finally get somewhat into a position where I can finally free myself by the year's end. All I had to do was re-examine how much I needed and what my passions were and where I could do exactly that and the plan came together. Many of the people I know on my small social media account have all kinds of depression, talk about suicide, etc. I've reached out to these people on multiple occasions with none of them coming back to me or even responding to my suggestions. A lot of people like to wallow in self-pity and talk to try to gain sympathy. Hell, I had done it in the past, but you gotta ask yourself, what has that ever actually done for you? What has it done? but reinforce how shitty your life is. I was at my wits end and had accepted that I was going to end up failing on my goals a few videos back, but at least I had accepted it at that point and faced that reality. It's not easy to face an unpalatable reality versus the lofty lie. Many of the people in pain presently follow the same patterns, the blue pill ones, the ones that tie them to a desk job and make them have to produce and produce more and more to pay more taxes or because Becky needs new braces and even more because Joan needs a new car. It never ends. They are wage slaves and if they can't produce or if their body gives out, they soon find out 
their humanity is only as good as what they provide in the majority of instances. Yes, I'm talking about men. Women don't have these concerns. They currently have a social safety net provided by men. As men, the only social safety net we have is ourselves and our brothers. And I wouldn't have it any other way. The plan should always be about you first. No marriage, no babies, no cohabitation. At a minimum, at least until you have achieved your dreams, if ever at all. This is why MGTOW is freedom. A MGTOW faces none of this unless he had prior obligations. Don't get into having these obligations if you like your freedom. Let MGTOW be your safety net. Follow it, and it will follow you and serve you well. Take care of yourselves, gentlemen. We will do this again soon, and as always, bye for now.